Hi, in this video I thought we would just talk about this book and I'll show you some of the mathematics in this book. This book is called Calculus and it was written by Michael Spivak. So I think this might have been the first book that I ever made a video about uh, on my YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure this is the first one. And I remember before I made that video I was thinking like what book do I really like? Like what book can I like pick that I can like make a video about? I thought, oh, this one, you know, Calculus by Michael Spivak. So in this video, we're just going to look at the math in this book and talk about some of the math, talk about the book, should you buy the book, what you need to read this book, you know, is it for beginners, um, you know, is it for people who are looking for harder problems. So first let me just tell you how I heard about this book. Back in um, a while ago, back in the early 2000s, I used to hang out in um, a math chat room. Oh yeah, cool. That, I know that function. That's interesting. Um, and in this chat room, uh, there was this guy, he kind of had like seniority, you know, he, um, you know, he was a moderator and stuff. He could kick people out and he was a math student at the University of Waterloo in Canada and he was taking Honors Calculus 1 and this is the book he was using. So I thought that was really cool and he talked really highly of it and other people in the channel like who were really good at math, like, you know, way better than me. Um, they were like, you know, the senior members like, oh yeah, it's a great book, you know, you want to learn calculus, you know, buy this book. So I bought the book and I started reading it and I was a little disappointed at first. So it, basically, I loved the way the book read when I got it. I read all of chapter one, okay, so I read all of this, okay, all of this. And I got here and then I started doing the problems and... You know, some of the problems I had a hard time with, even like the basic ones, I didn't know how to write a proof at all. I didn't know what it meant for something to be a proof. I had zero proof writing skills, zero. And that was a problem. And so if you have zero proof writing skills, that doesn't mean you can't use this book. Instead, what you can do is you can focus on all of the insanely hard computational problems that are in this book. I mean, let's look at these. This, these are derivatives, okay? This is the section on differentiation. These are regular problems. This is number one. As a warm-up exercise, find the first derivative for each of the following. Don't worry about the domain of f or f prime, <laughs> right? Just get a formula for f prime of x that gives the right answer when it makes sense. I mean, look at, look at these derivatives, right? So it's really intense. So you get a lot of like really hard, look at that. That's insane. That is crazy. Totally nuts. By the way, um, there's a fourth edition now, I think. I just remember to say that because this is a third. And I'll try to leave a link in the description if I remember to the latest edition. And there's also a solutions manual you can buy, which is really good. So here's some more problems. Yeah, okay, wow. Starting to get harder, right? So, and then <laughs> what's all this, right? Like, what's this? Find, uh, find f prime of zero if f of x is equal to that. Wow, cool, that's kind of fun. That's not too bad. So some of these are pretty fun. They get harder. He puts um, he puts a star on the ones that are hard. You see how they have stars? Yeah, pretty cool. Let's look through some of the other sections. So a very famous book. It's filled with hard problems. It's filled with harder proofs. Um, it reads really well, um, but it, the beginning stuff, especially um, like when you, fir you know, the first chapter, you saw all those proofs. So don't let that put you off. It's it's a calculus book. Nothing says you can't like jump to the end of the book, right? Like we're doing here, right? We're just, um, you yeah, know, look, the cauchy Schwartz inequality. That's really famous, okay? Yeah. Cool. What's this one here? Suppose that f has got a star. f is continuous and the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity is a. Prove that this limit is equal to a. Hint, this condition here implies that f of t is close to a for t greater than or equal to some n. This means that, and this is close to n, so it gives you a hint. It gives you a pretty generous hint here. And then, you know, without the hint, you know, if you don't have some experience, it'd be pretty tough. So, and it's a starred problem, right? It's meant to be hard. The fundamental theorem of calculus. Yeah, that's key. That's huge. Yeah, Michael Spivak. Legendary book, legendary. Michael Spivak, uh, he's, he's from the United States. He's an American mathematician. 
and I think he's from Texas. I don't know. I don't know that much about him. I know he founded his own publishing company, I believe, Publisher Parish. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since, um, you know, I've, I've read about Spivak, but yeah, great book. Chapter 16, Pi is Irrational. This short chapter, diverging from the mainstream of the book, is included to demonstrate that we are already in a position to do some sophisticated mathematics. This entire chapter is devoted to an elementary proof that pi is irrational. Like many elementary proofs of deep theorems, the motivation for many steps in our proof cannot be supplied. Nevertheless, it is still quite possible to follow the proof step by step. At least he is honest and he's telling you that, you know, you're not gonna understand why everything works, but it works. Like that that's something that often happens um, when you, you know, elementary proofs of deep theorem, the motivation for many of the steps cannot be supplied. Yeah, that's, and it takes some time to find those that motivation. And when you do, I think it's really interesting. So yeah, very nice. Look at all of this mathematics. The logarithm and exponential functions. So very nice. Quality of this book is pretty good. Pages seem pretty good. It's a different, different type of book. Define log x as that. So that would be like a natural log there, okay? So that's something that you should be aware of. Here he talks a little bit about the base. So let's read what he says here. And hope that this integral will be the logarithm to some base, which might be determined later. In any case, the function defined in this way is surely more reasonable from a mathematical point of view than log base 10. Yes, the usefulness of log base 10 depends on the important role of the number 10 in Arabic notation, and thus ultimately on the fact that we have 10 fingers. While the function log provides a notation for an extremely simple integral, which cannot be evaluated in terms of any functions already known to us. So they just define it that way. The justification, justification for the notation log comes from the following theorem. Okay, there's a theorem there. It's pretty cool, all right? A lot of stuff here. It's a corollary. It's the power rule for logs. Here they have the exponential function. They defined it exp as log to the negative. They defined it to be the inverse of the log function. So that's the definition of the exponential function. So it teaches you about logs, I mean, and exponentials from a calculus viewpoint. You know, it defines the log as, let's go back over here again, as this integral, right? It's this definite integral. It's pretty cool. Notice it's defined for x greater than zero. So like you all know the, you probably know the graph of the log. Um, it's got a vertical asymptote at zero, right? So that's the domain of the log function. So even if you don't know calculus, you probably know what a log is. And it agrees with, you know, your other definition perhaps. Cool. I'm going to give you some notation for e to the x. They finally decide to call it exp. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's take a look at some of the problems here. Look at this. Differentiate each of the following functions. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is number one, right? So, yeah, really intense book. Really intense. Tons of exercises. Anyways, just wanted to make a short video to just randomly show you this cool book. I'll try to leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Uh, this is the third edition. I think there's a fourth. Yeah. Good luck and take care.